Okay, you know I love a good assassin story, so when I found Blood Ink on Webtoon, I was instantly obsessed. It takes place in futuristic dystopia where assassination has been made legal and focuses on our main character, Maya, who is our legal assassin, and Rama, who is our illegal assassin, who is working to take down the people who signed the bill into legislation to allow the assassinations to happen in their country, which got his fiance killed. So. I am instantly obsessed with this story. In fact, it's basically the webtoon version of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And I can confidently say that because I am the author of the YA dystopian novel that has been called the YA dystopian Mr. and Mrs. Smith, The Jaded Duology. So I am 100% here for this amazing version of assassinations. I love it. I love it. I love it. And not only do we have strong leading characters, but we also get a great supporting cast. I am such a big fan of this. And one of my absolute favorites is Rama's pet owl, Colt. She is so cute, so sweet, and she just is a ray of sunshine in this kind of dark story, which I love. She has her own carrier, he takes her around, he treats her like a little princess, and I just love watching Rama and Colt together because they are so dang cute. But Colt isn't the only one I love. I am a huge fan of Proxy. Now, for those of you that don't know, I am a huge fan of hackers. I love my hacker stories. So when Proxy steps into the picture, we get quite a story ahead of us. Proxy is actually behind the scenes, trapped behind a computer, and talks to everyone through the monitor, but Proxy does not necessarily like to reveal faces, and so Proxy gets to use a face rig, a mask that looks like a fox, so we've got our Foxy Proxy, and Proxy is in charge of taking care of this team. So when Rama kidnaps Maya and holds her hostage, Proxy is the one to save her and organize this team and then get them to function as a cohesive unit. Proxy rules everything. Proxy may be quiet, Proxy may be behind the screen, but dang, Proxy is in charge and I am here for it. Now, another thing I love about this story is the amazing fashion. So not only do we get strong characters, we've got the supporting cast, but we've got fashion. The guys dress amazingly, the girls dress amazingly. I love it and Maya is the queen of disguises. So we're talking wigs, we're talking fancy dresses. I love everything about the fashion and if I could steal Maya's wardrobe, I 100% would. It is so dang good. The colors, the fabrics, the things that we are looking at inside of this story are just, oh, so good. The art is amazing. But I would be remiss before I end this video if I did not tell you about a little someone else. I'm really excited for this one. Gammy is someone you have to meet inside of this story. So not only do we have our leading characters, our supporting cast, but we've got Gammy, who's basically a mob boss. She's in charge of the mafia, she runs arms, she is an arms dealer, and this sweet little old lady who you would never expect to do anything wrong is this vicious queen of this entire industry. And it's amazing! And she does have a soft spot for our Rama and now our Maya as well. I love, love, love her kind of undercover, very quiet, refined look, but she will hurt you if you get in her way. I love Gammy's take charge power. I love, love, love it. Blood Ink is one of my new favorites on Webtoon. It is so dang good. I love the assassinations. I love everything about it as they are working to fight against a society who has brought something into the world that maybe not should not be there and we kind of have to convince both sides to get on board with this and we have some tears we have some smiles along the way i highly recommend it love 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 blood ink and i want to hear from you if you read it yet if you have let me know your favorite character and if you have not let me know what is your all-time uh, favorite assassination story movie book or web comic i want to hear from you and give me some ideas and recommendations on what i should be checking out while i'm waiting for the next episode of Blood Ink to come out. Get in my comments right now and hit the subscribe and notification bell because we're dropping brand new videos about Blood Ink and a whole bunch of other web comics all the time over on our YouTube channel. We're also doing our Twin Ladies talk show every single Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern where I'm introducing you to the authors like the author of Blood Ink who was recently on our show and so much fun to hang out with. You do not want to miss out on all the fun as we're hanging out with these amazing authors and artists. We've also got the Twin Ladies podcast every single Thursday with brand new content that you can't get anywhere else that you do not want to miss. And if you have not read Blood Ink, head over to the Webtoon app right now, grab it and binge read it. Seriously, just sit down, knock it out in a day. It is 100% worth it. Until 
until then, coming up, ToonLadies.com and at ToonLadies on all the social media platforms. I can't wait to hear from you on what you want to see next in the world of Blood Ink P.S. I'm good friends with Loopy Cut right now. So if you've got questions, if you want to see more content, hit me up. Might just be able to do a little something for Y.O.U. Thanks for joining me. Until the next video, I hope you have a great day and stay inspired.